Hey there, good morning, good evening, good whatever time you are watching this at. Welcome to yet another Pipe Dream speed run. This week's speedrun request comes from Gilbert. He asked us how he could create a Twitter bot that would send a weekly tweet that just listed out all of the new accounts that followed his own account that week. Let's go ahead and build it. Starting with a brand new workflow in the Pipe Dream dashboard, let's pick the, so the trigger of this workflow, which will be a brand new follower on our Twitter account, right? So selecting Twitter, a new follower of my account, Let's connect our Twitter account and we'll set the polling interval to once a day. We can create the source now. Now our workflow is receiving events every single time we have a new follower on our Twitter account. We're gonna select one of these followers and then we're going to look at the data. So we have the screen name and we can start to compile these screen names into one list. You may have noticed we can only select one Twitter account as our event at a time. So we need to set, make a separate step here that will make a list. I'm going to use a data store in a custom node step. To create a data store, we need to define it as a prop on the code step. I'm going to call it db and define this prop as a data store type. Clicking test will tell this code step that it requires a data store to run. Now we can create a brand new store and we'll call it Twitter followers, for example. Now let's use the DB within our code step. We're going to reference it by saying this.db, its name is DB, and we're going to set the followers key to an empty list to start. But we know we wanna start storing follower accounts within this list, and we care about the screen names in particular. So let's go back to our trigger results here, and we can see that the screen name is available under this data attribute. We're gonna copy the path and return back to our code step, and then we can paste it within this storage action. The first problem I see is every single time this workflow runs with a brand new follower, it's just going to overwrite the past screen name stored. We need to also append this screen name to the existing followers. Now, a way we can do that is we could reference followers from the DB before we set a new value. So I'm going to get the current followers within the DB if this is the first run, they're not gonna exist yet. So I'm gonna set the default value to an empty array. Now we can use a special operation within JavaScript called a spread operator. Followers can be spread into a new array like this. So now we are creating an append operation and not a replace operation, which would give us back to one follower per week. Not very fun. So we finished our workflow that's responsible for storing the latest followers on our Twitter account to the data store. To finish this up, let's click test, which will run through the workflow on that given event. And then we will click deploy to finish it. Now this workflow is responsible for sending out the tweet once per week. I've gone ahead and I've already configured the trigger. Let's retrieve our followers array from the DB. There's a special built-in data stores app we can use to get a single record from our data store without any code. It's pretty nice. And we know our key is followers, right? Let's add another step after this to make a summary of all of these tweets in a single string. So I'm gonna write a custom node step and I'm going to reference the return value from get record. So I'm gonna, actually, I forgot to test it. Testing it will create a step export, which connects steps together. Here's the summary found the key followers, and here is our array of followers and the return value. Perfect. So now we can use this return value, let's copy the path to this data export in our Node.js code step, and we're going to go ahead and use a special JavaScript array function called join to join these values together. Hmm, I wonder why that copy path didn't work. Let's try it again. Copy path, paste it, and we're going to say join. We want to join these by commas, right? And probably a space between, just to make it easier to read. So I'll return this as our step export, run test. Since we only have one Twitter follower so far, it's only going to show one. And we can add a quick Twitter send tweet action. Twitter, create tweet select our Twitter account again, 
and we can use the steps return value from our node step. And now this tweet will automatically include all the followers that we collected that week. Pretty awesome. And that about sums it up. Tell me what to build. Put your request in the form below and it could be made into a speed run video. Have a great day.